So we see the convenience market has risen exponentially. Um, but what we're actually seeing is this hybrid model happening um, where your physical experiences and your um, kind of online experiences are coexisting together and they're thriving together. So while consumers really want the convenience of online shopping, they still crave the sense of tangible sensory experiences that you can only get from physical retail. So what we're seeing is this kind of symbiotic relationship between brick and mortar and, um, and e-commerce. So what we're seeing is this resurgence for physical retail. Um, and how we're seeing that? We're seeing major investments globally into um, physical retail spaces. Then we go post-pandemic, so restrictions eased. Um, we see that people really started to reassess their priorities, started to kind of recalibrate their values in general. And the idea of luxury changed from you know, I want to show my status and I want to show my wealth to more, I want luxury because I wanted to enrich my kind of personal well-being. Um, and so we're moving away from this concept of conspicuous consumption or loud luxury towards quiet luxury. So then people started valuing kind of understated goods. They were paying attention to the quality, the craftsmanship of, of luxury. Um, and the timelessness or sustainability of it, and then they really wanted authenticity. That was became really important, and it's becoming increasingly important. Now, most recently, uh, Jose also mentioned it, we are seeing a decline in luxury consumption globally. If we look just at the concept of value-based consumption, it's essentially the need to align your personal values with your consumption choices. So we see it a lot more with your younger generation, but we do see it all around. Um, and it's essentially, you know, is this sustainable? Is it ethically sourced? Is, it, is this brand in general aligned to my personal views? As we move more towards, towards conscious consumerism, um, we see that it's more about, you know, people want value in terms of price, but it's more about what are the values embedded in this product that I'm buying? What is, how is it made? What is the story behind it? Um, you know, is what is the brand's impact on the environment as well? That's also massive. So people are becoming a lot more critical. People are searching for value not only with the product in front of them, but they're searching for value also within the experiences that they have with the brand. And that's also where you see kind of the physical retail coming in. In general, I think consumers are just fed up with bad service and fed up with bad experiences. And like I said, there's so many alternatives. Um, so it's essentially, if I'm going to leave the comfort of my own home, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to use my petrol and I'm going to pay for parking, the experience better be good. Um, but yeah, also customer experiences in terms of psych psychological elements and human elements, we're needing a lot, we're needing to pay a lot more attention to the psychology of, of the customer experience. With all of this evolving needs um, of the customers, the bottom line is um, consumers and customers really just wants to have, as you said, like a safe space uh, to go in, an engaging space uh, to go in, to have that experiential um, engagement in the spaces that you operate in. So it literally just boils down again back to the to the basics to be able exactly. to retain our customers, to retain our retailers, um, and, and then so forth. We try to do business um, in a good manner, in a more meaningful manner through our good spaces uh, building block. But at the end of the day, it's about the customer's experiences on the ground.